In this video, I'm going to tell you why exactly I'm still using Adobe Audition after 20 years. Well, I've got heritage with Adobe Audition. In fact, I still remember in the mid 90s getting involved in Cool Edit Pro and it kind of changed my audio life because before that I was working with uh, cassette tape and also splicing reel to reel and doing all of that stuff and mastering jingles onto cart machines. It really was a real pain. And if you messed up and you dropped an edit on the floor, you had to rumble through some tape and hope you'd get it and you didn't drop it on the bulk eraser. Well, Cool Edit, now known as Adobe Audition, really changed all that because for the first time I could work not just with one sound, but with multiple sounds in what was called a multi-track. Yes, I could mix multiple pieces of audio together. My digital life was changed forever. But why am I still using Adobe Audition 20 years on? Well, first of all, keyboard shortcuts. It's like muscle memory. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Hopefully less of the old and less of the dog actually. But uh, yeah, I do know the shortcuts really, really off the top of my head. And to move to something else like Pro Tools or Studio One or even Audacity, I'd have to relearn lots of shortcuts unless I spent ages reprogramming those shortcuts. So definitely muscle memory is a good reason. The next reason I'm still using Adobe Audition is, well, Adobe does things really well. And if you watch Adobe Max every year, you'll hear the announcements in the keynote, but also the sneaks that focus on the audio that's up and coming. Now, there are other companies out there like Descript and various others getting technology out there really fast, like the ability to create a synthesized AI voice that sounds pretty human and do all kinds of clever audio trickery, like removing filler words like ers and ums. Adobe has this in the works with Project Shasta, and it's getting better every day. And Adobe, I, I think they're a little bit like Apple. They may not be the first to release a technology, but when they do release it, you can be certain that it's in a really good, ready-to-use state and not an alpha or beta state. So while, yes, you might be able to get your hands on the tech quicker, when Adobe release it and integrate it into their products, it really works very well indeed. And that's why I like sticking with Audition, because they have fully baked, really good audio effects that can be applied to any project. Another reason I love Audition is it saves me time. I can quickly drag and drop multiple audio files into a multi-track and even create myself a multi-track template so that I can just get straight in and do what I do best, and that is record audio and produce it really, really quickly and efficiently. And also, uh, things like Adobe Sensei are great for working with audio. Remixing tracks using the Adobe Audition Remix saves me a ton of time making bulk edits all the time. And one final big thumbs up for Adobe Audition, the effects. I still remember working with Cool Edit Pro and having the brain synchronizer, although I think for legal reasons, that's no longer in Adobe Audition. It used to generate me all kinds of funny tones and whizzes and bangs to sync your brain to some kind of new level. Well, anyway, that got my interest going, but then there was the chorus, the flanger, and they had all these crazy presets. They're still inside Audition today, and I love using them. And I don't know another piece of audio editing software that has the versatility and the ability to do so many audio effects on spoken word as Adobe Audition. So what do you think? After 20 years, I'm still using and loving Adobe Audition. What is it you like about Adobe Audition? Why are you watching this video? And why do you use it yourself? Or indeed, why have you gone off and used another piece of audio editing software? Let me know your reasons in the comments down below. And I'm guessing if you've watched this far, you really like Audition. So learn how to organize your sound effects and music. The video is on the screen somewhere. And uh, yeah, keep watching because there's so much more on my channel about Audition.